Now it's time to make some breakfast. I've been loving to have this avocado toast. It only takes a couple of minutes to make in the morning. So I just add a little bit of butter to a pan and then I kind of just toast the bread up a little bit. You can also put it in the toaster, but I love toasting it with a little bit of butter. And then I crack an egg and I like to cook this like well done. I don't like it like over easy or anything like that. I season it up with salt and pepper and now we're ready to assemble our avocado toast. I just use half of an avocado and kind of squeeze it on top of the bread. Give it a good spread. I like to add some fresh sea salt and some black pepper and then you can go ahead and put your egg right on top. I'm going to be having mine today with a side of fruit. Okay guys, I wanna share with you a really exciting home goods haul. I got some really cute pieces, like I can't believe I found these items. So I went to the Columbia Home Goods over the weekend and I got some really unique pieces, like things that I have not seen at my home goods in Charleston. So it was really fun to kind of get out, but I wanna share with you guys everything I got. So let's get right into the haul. Okay, I got some organizers. So the first one is this like Lazy Susan. And I thought it would be perfect for like my makeup brushes to be able to put them all in here and be able to just like spin them around. So I'm hoping it fits in here really well. This was $12.99 and I just love these Lazy Susans. I want to organize our little linen closet that we have in our master bath. I've been meaning to do that for a while. So I thought this would be perfect in there. 
And then I also got some other little acrylic organizers as well. So I got two of these. And the reason why I needed this kind of Lazy Susan, because I have a flat Lazy Susan in my pantry. I have two of them. And I will put like my olive oil and things like that on them. And what I find is when I spin them, like the olive oils will fall over because it's just flat. So I really wanted to get a Lazy Susan that had like a large lip to it. So that way I can like put bottles in here and not have to worry about them spilling over. So this was $12.99 and I thought it was perfect to add to my pantry. They had two of them. I also want to replace the one that I have underneath my kitchen sink as well because that's a flat one. Okay, going in kitchen items. So you guys probably remember I have like a little stainless steel sprayer that I usually will like spray in like my pan when I'm cooking or on my salads and things like that. You want to say hi, Blissy girl? Say hi. Come on. Come on. Say hi, Lucy. <laughs> All right, go in your bed. So I got these spray bottles. I thought they would be perfect to replace the old one that I had that I dropped and broke. It says you can use like any kind of oil to mist like your vegetables, your salads, things like that. So what I was gonna do was do one with like olive oil and then one with red wine vinegar. So that way I can like spritz it on my salad and it's just gonna be really nice and I can use the olive oil when I'm like roasting vegetables. I like the spray sometimes better than the drizzle because you can really control like how much oil you get. So these guys were $12.99 each. I hope that it has a really good spray to it, so we'll see. All right, next, Bentley needed a new dog bowl because the one that he had before, like the wood, was just starting to look really bad. He had it for years and years, and I actually got it from Home Goods, so I was happy to find a very similar one to what he already had. I just love the raised dog bowls, and then I also order like a slow bowl that fits perfectly inside this hole and I just love having a slow bowl with my dogs because it really slows them down when they're eating. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much like a bowl that has like a whole bunch of like zigzags in it, like a pattern to it. So your dog can like really slow down when they eat. So I ordered the little attachment that Blissey has in her bowl for Bentley's bowl and it's gonna fit perfectly. So that's gonna be really good. But I just thought this was so, so cute. It's wood and then it has the black legs. And then next up, I'm starting to pick up pieces for our new floating shelves, even though we don't have them yet. I wanna start to like pick up things as I see them. So I don't know if this is gonna be too big for the floating shelf or not, but I just loved it. I saw it. It's just like this beautiful vase. I love the feet to it. Like how cute is that? Um, it was $19.99 and I love that it has like a bumpy feel to it. Like it's not completely just like smooth. I love that. So I'm hoping it's going to look really cute on top of the floating shelves, like with some coffee table books leaned up against it. I think it's going to look really good. I love adding little black pieces to my home. So I thought this was perfect. So I can't wait to get the floating shelves so we can style them together. And then this next find is by far my favorite item that I scored at Home Goods this trip. So I actually had a very, very similar vase in my shopping cart on Anthropology, and the vase was over a hundred dollars. But I just kept seeing interior designers use this vase to decorate like on top of like kitchen islands and dining tables. So I really, really wanted it. So I was going to check out, but I was just kind of waiting to see if I could find like a more affordable option. So sure enough, I was at Home Goods and I found this one and it is perfect, you guys. I'm gonna put a picture of the Anthropology one on the screen and then this one looks so, so similar and it was a fraction of the price. It was $49.99. And it's so beautiful. Like it has all these beautiful like bumps to it and texture and it's like cream with little brown speckles. Like I love it. So my plan for this is I can put like fresh florals to come out of it when I have fresh florals. But just like day to day, I wanted to add some greenery to it, like some faux greenery. So I was gonna go to either Hobby Lobby or Michaels to get some greenery or even maybe I can find some on Amazon but to have some coming out of it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put this on the dining table or the kitchen island, or maybe even like my console. I haven't decided yet. There's gonna be so many good places I can put it, but it was the last one I saw and got so, so excited. Um, if they make a smaller one of these, I'm definitely going to pick it up because Anthropology has a few different sizes and they look really nice when like you style it next to like a large and a small one. Blissey's laying down right here in front of the camera. Also always like pick up poofs whenever I go to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. 
I love like switching these out, keeping them in the shower. It just gets such a good lather with your body wash. Um, it's so much more thicker than the ones at like Target or Walmart. Um, you get two for $4.99 and they're so huge. And then I told you guys that I love that vessel and that's like the item I'm most excited about. But I hit coffee table book jackpot. Like I got so many coffee table books. If you guys are new around here, I love, love, love coffee table books. Like whenever I don't know how to style a particular area, coffee table books. Like it makes everything look just really like styled and just really high end. So I love coffee table books. And I know a lot of you guys have shared, I can like buy like books from like the thrift store and like refinish the tops of them. But to be honest, I really enjoy going through the books. I really like going through the pictures, getting inspiration, getting ideas. So I really like my coffee table books to not only be like decor, but also something that I can flip through for inspiration. So I went through like all the ones Home Goods had and I tried to really gather the ones of like my style, like things that I love. So let me share with you all the ones I scored. Okay guys, I didn't score not one coffee table book, not two, not three, and not even four. I have six of them. Like. I cannot believe I scored all these and I really, really like getting my coffee table books from Home Goods because a lot of mine came from Amazon. And what I find is Home Goods is like $5 cheaper per book. And that adds up if you have a lot through your home. So you're definitely going to get the best deal at Home Goods. However, I will link all of these books I'm sharing with you guys on Amazon. It is a few dollars more on Amazon, but it's one of those things that I try to find it at Home Goods, and if I don't find it, I'll just order it on Amazon. I got the Kinfolk table, and it just had like the most beautiful cover to it. I love how neutral it is, and it's actually, you guys, a cookbook, which is really exciting. There's like some recipes in here that I want to try, so I'm excited to add this one to my collection. Um, I cannot see the price tag of how much I paid for it, but I believe this one was $29.99. And then this one I'm so excited about. So we went to two home good locations and that's how I was able to gather all these coffee table books. I got most of them at the first home goods that I went to and then only two of them I got at the second one. But this one is called Calm and it's just this beautiful, just like creamy gray color, which I think is gonna look so good on top of like any like dark furniture or black furniture. And I love, love, love the pictures in this coffee table book. It's like neutrals, but it has like pops of color, which I really like. Just so many good inspiration pictures in this one. And it's just such a pretty cover. And then the next coffee table book, I love this one too. This one was $19.99. Um, it's called the New Southern Style, and it's just neutral. And the fun thing is a lot of these, like this cover comes off, and it's even like a prettier cover like that. So that's really pretty. Um, but this one just has some really, oh, I see Shay McGee in here, which is cool. It has some really cool interior designers in here and some gorgeous pictures. Like I love all of these vessels. And then I also got, oh, this one's really pretty too. Oh, it's called Curate Inspiration for an Individual Home. And this one's like a beautiful, like creamy color with like a gray spine. This is gonna look so good in my current collection that I have. This one was $24.99. And again, just so many beautiful pictures. Do you guys like um, when you're like reading a cookbook and like a coffee table book, do you like the pages to be kind of like um, natural, like without a shine or do you like the shiny ones? I really like like the matte pages. I think it just looks so beautiful when it's like a matte page. And then I also got this one. My mom got this one the last time we went to Home Goods, and there was one that I regretted not getting. Um, it's called a boat, and this one just has really, really pretty home decor. I love how everything's just so natural. And this one's cover does come off, which is great because you can kind of have like two different looks. You guys, I'm so excited! I found all these coffee table books. This is the most I've ever found in one like shopping trip. 
Um, so this next one's the last one I got, and I love this one. It's called Travel Home, and this one was actually in my Amazon cart. I just love the chocolate brown. This would have been perfect with my Christmas decor, but again, I love the pictures in this one. So much good inspiration. I love how this like coffee table book utilizes a lot of like light colored walls and then like some darker pieces. This looks really, really good. It also has like some shelf styling ideas. So I'm going to be styling our new floating shelves when they come in. And I'm going to go through like all of my coffee table books and really kind of get some inspiration and order some similar pieces. I'm going to try to like go to home goods and see what I can find and whatever I can't find from home goods. I'll probably order from like Amazon. And then the last thing I want to share with you all, this did not come from home goods. I just got it in the mail from Target. It has been out of stock for like over five weeks now. I've had like my in stock notifications turned on. I don't know why I wanted this picture so bad, but I saw so many pictures in the reviews of styling this photo. And I just thought it would be perfect in my home. Like I said, we're getting our floating shelves. So I thought this would be so perfect, like styled on top of the floating shelf with like some coffee table books next to it, maybe a candle, maybe a bowl. I can't remember the price, but it was super affordable from Target. So I will leave the link down below. Just turn on in stock notifications because they're always restocking it. So I've already started my spring checklist and one of the things on my checklist is to go through every single drawer and cabinet in my kitchen. So I wanted to do this one today. I wanted to wipe down everything, re-add the organizers and kind of restock everything. By the way, this little plastic sheet you see me wiping down comes in a long roll and I did line a lot of my cabinets just to kind of protect them. I will link these organizers that I'm using down below. They're amazing. It's actually for utensils but it is like the perfect little organizer to store your coffee pods. And I also like that you can like expand it to be small or large. And then these organizers are from Amazon as well. I love putting my Ziploc bags and then it just keeps it nice and organized. And then the last thing I wanted to do is update our Lazy Susan. So get rid of the flat ones. And I'm gonna be using these ones in the pantry. I'm using the first one for all of like my oils, avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and then this next one for all of my condiments. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.